if our members wanted to volunteer or to help uh, change the earth just in a small way, what does the recipe begin? You know, I really highly recommend this. By volunteering with a green organization, is how I met Ed. So, so it's a great dating on. service. Yes, if you're single, of course. If you're not, then don't do that. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, you're local. I did it with Friends of the River, which was a local organization that cleaned up the rivers in California. And I just happened to have gone down a river raft in a river rafting trip. I've never done it uh, since. Uh, I had never done it before, but I did it and I was really impressed and so I got involved and I gave back to an organization, but I'm sure whatever local there is, um, whether, and, and then there's Greenpeace in there everywhere, oh, whatever floats your boat, you know, it doesn't even have to be green, it could be for children, and, and you know what, if it's doing something for children and bringing the, the environmental message to them, I mean, we, they're our only hope, they're really our hope, because we are so set in our ways. And old habits die hard, although they can die. They certainly, if I'm, I'm living proof, if I can do it, anyone can do it. You know, I, you know, my fantasy is this, you know, far up from uh, Gone with the Wind, you know, a little far from <laughs> Georgia and Gone with the Wind, but I think it might blow on. And you would, you would say that Ed has changed you for the better? He has changed me. He has definitely changed, and I changed him for the better. Well, you should have seen it before. So yeah. Sixteen years going on. No, a couple of lifetimes. Yeah, no, he is definitely. Uh, he, you know, his commitment and steadfastness is inspirational. So, you know, I just say get involved. Because you just never. The one thing we're so self aware, you know, and there's so it's all about me, 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 and what my problems, and my children as well. Yeah. And so if you can get out of yourself for a minute, your brain shuts off, and just a physiological thing that happens. It's amazing. Um, and we need to shut up if they're on overdrive, certainly with all the media that we have and telling us the gloom and doom of everything that's happening. And there is global warming, there's not global warming, whatever. You know, but just start. You know, saying yes and to uh, your local, whatever they're doing, you know, organic gardening in your neighborhood, whatever it turns you on. Something you can just get involved. What's the most Oh, well, I hope more living with that. I hope we can do that because we're just sort of hitting our stride now, you know, uh, it's fun and we get to explore a lot of, you know, crazy places, uh, algae plants and methane plants and, you know, I mean, they're just so, they're just so cheap. What are you growing outside? What's a lemon? Lemons, oranges, tangerines, figs, apples. The dinner is there? Oh, yeah. Lettuce in the backyard. Yeah, this is nothing, <laughs> everything has a use on this property. Nothing is decorative. And this table Ed made? Ed made this table. Um, yes, indeed. I have apples here that actually are not real, but they are from my play about Pedro Chavez, so I do not have any expensive plays. This is the only thing I kept. I and they look fabulous. They do look pretty, don't they? But it's unfortunate people have tried to bite them in there. <laughs> Could be dangerous. So, any last words of wisdom for working moms or parents to work moms? Words of wisdom. I think I'll, life is such an adventure. I just think being open to what's next and and to um, you know get involved. And I, you never know what it is that's gonna that's gonna be your next chapter. I think that once you have a child, there is a next chapter that's because it's totally different when there's another life that you're responsible mm -hmm. for. So the, the the choices that you make. I, I didn't go on the road in a play because I'm not gonna leave my kid. Mm -hmm. All of those things. And so I had to think outside the box, you know. We, oh, we can do a, a series in our house. <laughs> uh, yes, do a series in your house. That's what I recommend. <laughs> Everyone, get a camera. <laughs> people do. They do. <laughs> Not no, that kind of series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kidding. Yeah. I said one more time, Living with Ed can be seen. No, yeah, Living with Ed can be seen Wednesdays at 6 uh, Pacific Time, 9 Eastern Time. Very good. That was more concise. And I think it re airs Monday, oh boy, 9 Pacific, and then whatever. At midnight if you're up. And then once on Sunday. I think they're going to re air them as much as they possible. Yeah. But that's And if you have not seen it already, I have watched the clip and it is, it is very funny. <laughs> and you, you might learn a thing or two also. Yeah. 
So thank you so oh, much. Yes, I thank really you. appreciate That's your wonderful nice. inspiration. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Find your ideal job, your paradise, a flexibility between family and self. Go to myworkbutterfly.com.